we'll start the installation of Zed Attack Proxy or Zap on Ubuntu by going out to the Zap Proxy homepage and downloading the package that's correct for our system. So we'll scroll down a little bit and we're looking for the Linux installer. So we'll click on download and then we're gonna save the file. The file's a shell script and once we get it downloaded, then we're gonna go to our downloads directory and run that script. So we'll change into the downloads directory. And here we'll see the installation script. Now by default, the script is not executable. So first we're gonna make it executable by running kmod u plus x, meaning the user can execute. And now when we list the contents of the directory, we'll notice that it turns green because it's now executable. So to run that shell script, we'll type in dot slash and then the name of the script and hit enter. If you get a message that says you have to be logged in as root, then the current user that we're installing as doesn't have enough authority to install the program. So in order to do the installation, we just run the exact same command, but precede it with sudo and then You'll need to put in your password, and you'll also have to be a user that's allowed to use sudo. This will start the installation. When the wizard pops up, click next, accept the agreement, and click next again. Then we're gonna do the standard installation, but if you wanted to install it in a custom directory, you could click custom installation and pick which directory you want. Now we're gonna click install, and the installation is going to start to run. When the installation is done, you can just click finish. And now we're done installing the program. Now to run that proxy, we can run it from its installation directory. So if we open up a terminal, we can locate the installation directory. To do that, we can do sudo update db. And that way, Ubuntu will go ahead and make a list of the files in the different directories for us, allowing us to use the locate command. And we can see that that proxy is in the opt or opt directory. So we're just gonna change into its directory. And if we list the files, we'll notice that zap.sh or zap.shell is right here ready to run. And to run it, all we have to do is run that installer. And to run it with root privileges, you can run it with sudo. It'll start using the Java runtime environment and loading its jar files. And this will take a minute. And the first time that you start Zap, it may also want to go out and update plugins. So when you're presented with the screen and you start it running, you may see some messages that it's downloading plugins that are kind of popping up and flashing in the foreground. And once it gets the plugins updated, that'll go away and now you're ready to use Zap on Ubuntu.